Well, hello there. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen this morning. I'm Valerie. Now, we have an apple tree on our country property in the side yard. And last summer, we had so much apples on the tree. I decided I was going to make apple pies, apple cakes. I froze apples. I dehydrated apples. Still have some in the pantry there. And I decided I am going to make some apple cider vinegar. So I got myself a recipe with instructions and I trusted that recipe and I went ahead and I put my apples to ferment and yet I made myself some pretty decent apple cider vinegar. Now I have already strained some and I have three bottles here. These bottles are actually reused and pasta sauce bottles, tomato sauce bottles. I don't throw them out whenever I get these bottles. I wash them, take the label off, clean them up nicely and put them away in my cupboard so I can get them to use for things like these because really even when I get stuff in plastic bottles I change them over to glass bottles. I don't like to store things long term in plastic bottles. Anyway just a side note there. So actually the first thing that I have to do is to remove this layer from the top of the liquid because you get a layer, a little jelly thing like this coming up. I think they call it Scooby or something like that. I'll just call it Scooby. Yeah. So you get something like this on the surface of your, I got two because I opened it once. Well, not even opened it. I just shifted it to check it out. And this one fell to the bottom and then it grew a new one on top. Now I've read that I can use these in my garden, so I guess I save them and do that. But yeah, the first thing you do is to remove that layer. In this bottle, I actually also have two. And the reason why I have two is because I had shifted the bottle to check what was going on in the bottle. And it fell to the bottom. Look that, look at this. Check this out. Oh, pretty cool, eh? I think I got great success here because I didn't get any mold, which is very important, right? So I removed this Scooby layer and now I am going to strain the rest of that liquid. And I'm just putting it through a mesh here. So you go ahead and strain and by the way if you are interested in making some apple cider vinegar you don't even have to have an apple tree you don't have to have a whole bunch of apples you can just use the scraps from apples if you're making apple pies or whatever you're doing with your apples eating them just like that which we all know that apples are good for us so I'm going to remove this I put an elastic band around just to hold it in place so it doesn't slide down. I'm going to remove this and then I'm going to pour it in, pour my strained apple cider in my bottles that I have waiting to be filled. There we go. I don't think I'll buy apple cider vinegar in the store ever again. If I can make my own, why should I buy it? Nope. I will put the recipe with instructions on my website, the one that I used. That gave me great success. So if you are interested, you can check it out at V A L R I N E. V E R N O N dot com. That's Valerine Vernon dot com. I'll put something at the end of the video so that you can see the exact spelling. So there we go. I have a little more to strain. This is from the first batch I strained. 
that out. I have six bottles here. Now I'm going to need another bottle. So I'm just going to grab myself another one from this cupboard here. And I'm going to go ahead and I have a little, yeah, this, this is a little, another Scooby. Okay, let's put this back on. And then I'm just going to put the elastic band around it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'll just throw the elastic band out. Forget about that one. So there we go. So I'll just go ahead and hold on to it and straight don't need the elastic band after all it's just a bit convenient but i guess it didn't want to stay so it left away you know too much this happens right that's why i put the elastic band on it because it just slipped right through so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take it over to the sink and i'm gonna rinse it out It has a lot of excess on it, so I'll rinse it out. And I'm gonna restrain because it just slipped right through my fingers. There we go. I didn't want to use the elastic band again because it fell to the floor, right? Okay. Take three or take two actually to finish this up do you ever notice when you're doing something sometimes it's going so smoothly and then all of a sudden something happens it's like hmm, can i finish this without anything happening come on i'm gonna grab myself an elastic band over here from my i have a little container in my drawer over there every time i buy f veggies or fruits from the store and they come with plat, um, elastic bands i take them and i stick them in here so whenever i need an elastic band it's in the drawer over there so you can do that just get yourself a little container take the elastic band stick them in there it's in the drawer whenever you want it it's there it's handy okay let's go again strain 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 Strain, 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 strain the apple cider, strain the apple cider, strain, strain, strain. Oh, and it's done, 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 like a dinner. Okay, I'll take my time so the elastic band just doesn't fall out of it. I'm just pulling this through the little spout at the front of the jug let's just drop this in here later on i'll wash my bottles up put them away for i don't think i need to make any next year but maybe i just do and give some away to friends and family anyways let's go ahead and bottle this thing up there we go Put a little bit more in this and then whatever is left i'm gonna drink this right yeah i'm gonna drink this maybe i'll warm it and put a little honey in it to drink it's good to drink apple cider understand in the morning before you get started eating all the heavy foods of the day okay here we go Now, from what I understand, you can 
put these in the fridge to stop the fermentation process or if you want it to keep fermenting you can leave them outside in your pantry make sure that they're in a relatively cool dark place not too hot not too cold okay so thanks for watching or for joining me um finalizing straining my apple cider this morning and until next time you subscribe if you haven't subscribed let me know what you think about my videos and my channels let me know if you have anything you want me to cover for you and like and tell somebody about my channel thank you very much and have yourself a great day bye